Hello, hello. Um, this, is, uh, this is not a lightning talk. This is a five-minute advertisement for a workshop that I'm going to be running this afternoon. Um, and um, it's mostly self-explanatory and me teaching something that you probably already know. Um, containers are not virtual machines, and we should not treat them as such. Um, and this is a, the topic that I want to bring up a, again this, uh, this afternoon in my workshop. Um, for those of you who mostly, I guess, actually don't know me, I'm, my name is Paul Adams. Um, I work at Zalando, um, where I work in the search department. So if you ever happen to go to Zalando and search for red shoes, it's my job to make sure that you get red shoes and not blue jeans. Um, and um, at Zalando, we, we care a lot about um, containers and how we build containers and how containers get um, uh, deployed. And at the beginning of this year, um, I set myself on a, a, a journey to learn um, from how other organizations build their containers, what, what really looks like best practice these days. And what started off as a mission to learn about best practice and really understand how other people are building their containers and how they make great products that are containerized, um, this turned into something else. Um, it turned into a project that I called Project Where Did All This Stuff Come From? Um, the reason being is I discovered pretty quickly that we have a lot of experiences of organizations um, building containers which really are clearly have come from a virtual machine uh, mindset. And one of the, one of the containers that I, I worked on, um, and uh, what I'm going to be talking about this afternoon, of course, is the Nextcloud container. Um, who here has ever pulled or deployed the Nextcloud container? Right? Um, what was the first thing you noticed about that container? Like, just from the pull experience. It's big. Right. Who said that? Straight to the top of the class. Right, it's, a, it's 634 megabytes. Um, as containers go, this is pretty, this is pretty meaty. Um, I mean, that's not necessarily bad if everything in there is totally necessary. Um, but the first thing I noticed was it was 634 megabytes. And this, this seemed unusually large for an application that's about 170 megs. Um, so I went for an exploration to find out what's inside there. And this is no different from quite a lot of projects where I delved inside their containers. So uh, we have 170 megabytes of, of, of Nextcloud. Um, we have 123 megabytes just of base image, right? Just of Debian and Jesse. Um, just you know, the, just the just the, the operating system is sitting around inside there. Um, the thing that really surprised me, um, this maybe doesn't surprise you. I don't I don't come from a PHP background. Is 260 megabytes of PHP. Um, this this seems. Large. I don't know, maybe it's not, but to me this seemed unnecessarily large. Um, and then not forget the very important stuff at the top there, right? There's 82 megabytes of stuff uh, inside the uh, Nextcloud uh, Docker image. And um, stuff could be, for example, well, anything that's not PHP or the operating system, basically, so not the base image, so Apache, for example, right? Um, so I took a look at this, this portfolio of stuff, and I asked myself, well, so how much of this is necessary, and how lean can we actually make uh, the, the next cloud container experience? Um, for me, I, I decided, OK, let's take a look at what are the very quick wins here. What are the most obvious things I, I can work on? Um, the first one is, the, is basing the container on Debbie and Jesse. Um, um, you don't really need 123 or 124 megabytes or whatever it is of, of Debian Jesse infrastructure when um, about four megabytes of Alpine Linux will do the same job. Um, the other thing which, um, I, I, again, I don't come from a PHP background, but I, I decided for myself that perhaps like having an entire, what appeared to be an entire PHP distribution in there was probably a bit overkill. Um, and then, of course, just look for any general cruft. What's sitting inside that 82 megabytes of, of, of stuff? Um, why, do we need, um, why do we need, for example, um, Apache when we can actually save some space using Nginx? Um, ultimately, I just wanted to make the whole thing um, leaner. I wanted to make the, the user experience better so that, so that when someone goes and does Docker pull next cloud, that it doesn't take too long to download, that they, they have this experience of getting up and running very quickly. 
And so I went ahead and did a lot of these things. So I, I have my own Docker file available on GitHub. Um, and the net result is that I managed to build a working container of only 258 megabytes, um, which is uh, uh, distinctly more um, streamlined than the 600 and something that the official container has. Um, I'm running a workshop this afternoon. Um, I um, do not know enough about Nextcloud to know that what I built is actually a user-friendly, advisable product. Um, but it's certainly a lot more streamlined, um, and from my outsider's view, it works, I hope. Um, so I'd like to invite any of you who are interested in, um, even if you have no Docker experience, if you're interested in learning about Docker and how to build Im images, I'm running a workshop this afternoon. Um, please do come along, and particularly those of you who have hardcore Nextcloud knowledge, which I'm assuming is pretty much everybody, do come along because we can start punching holes in my actual container and seeing if it's actually a, a, a worthy experience. Um, thanks very much.